with your left hand, or it's your left hand to draw with your right hand. Just for a minute or two. Draw what?
the, re the relationship keeps on going forever. And it's, a, it's one of the very few relationships that's assigned rather than achieved and the, uh, the sibling that's considered equal. Uh, and you can see that everyone, every one of us has pro certain problems with their siblings, but when the, the sibling is a disabled child, it creates a different kind of uh, sibling dynamics. For instance, when doing my research, I found out that most of the children with disabled uh, siblings suffer from loneliness, embarrassment, guilt, patience, and devotion. As you can see, there, some of them are positive and some of them are negative. So the, it's not all negative. Some of the aspects of their lives, it's very, very good. And, they, and they, some of the children actually say that, they, that without their, their, their sibling, they wouldn't be as patient or as devoted or they, they wouldn't have pictured their lives in a way that it is. So this is exactly why I think the only art should show that, this, that there is a certain positive aspects in this relationship as well. The other purpose of the, the book is self-authorship. It's something that you can see in almost all young adult fiction, but in Beyond Her Art, it's very, very emphasized in the uh, use of when he travels and when he... Um, and uh, self-authorship, I mean, going through it quickly, it's a bit psychological, uh, maybe just, you know, some of you know about it more, but it's the uh, different phases, and we all go through them. Currently, I think we're all mostly going through the crossroads phase, uh, but to hopefully we're going to offer the authors of one's life in a couple of years. And this is exactly what Yusuf is going through and we can, everyone can relate to it, not just a person who has a disabled sibling or any. There is certain aspects of the story that everyone, every young adult can relate to. Okay, similar books in literature. Um, when it comes to general um, books about disability, there is a, a considerable amount of books, especially in the Western literature. However, when it comes to the sibling relationships, even in the Western um, literature, there's not a lot of books. Uh, the two that I think that are very, very similar to uh, Beyond Her Art in terms of the sibling relationship is My Sister's Keeper and Wonder. Wonder was discussed in class and uh, after reviewing the book, I found that there's, a, there's some cha chapters when the sister is talking about her relationship with her brother who has a disability. And this part is related to Beyond Her Art, but other than that, it's mostly focusing on the disabled child. Uh, so, so, so Beyond Her Art is a bit different. Uh, my Sister's Keeper is similar in terms of the sibling's relationship as well, but it has a, bit, a, like, a different path. Like, if, I don't know if you read it, but it's, it's a bit different, but it has similar aspects. However, uh, in Arabic literature, unfortunately, there is almost no uh, literature about this topic. The only thing that I found uh, when I went to the book fair was the Farhana series. It has a, it has a really good book that I've uh, it's uh, called Farhana uh, Sadiq Mukhtalif Hakam. It's really good. It's, um, but as you can see, it's a picture book, so it's for a much, much younger um, age. Well, well, Beyond Her Art targets uh, uh, an older age who has different, different uh, issues.